The Florida Current, an online news service smartly covering politics and policy. Subscribe for free daily alerts at thefloridacurrent.com. Step by step, these students are marching for equal rights. Friday morning, nearly 100 people marched to the historic state capitol with one mission, making their voices heard. The march and the rally is, is here to bring awareness to a movement, the no vote, no voice movement. A recent 5-4 Supreme Court ruling struck down a key part of the Voting Rights Act, shocking many of those who marched here. Oftentimes it takes measures like these to let them know that we still we still know what's going on. Our voice still matters and that we still will show up at, at, at any time. The rally may have ended here at the historic state capitol, but students say they hope their message goes much further and makes an impact nationwide. We stand for so many so many voices, and so this means that we will do what we have to do so that people, that's so what the Supreme Court will hear our voice. Supporters say voter suppression goes beyond the Supreme Court ruling. They argue Florida has a long track record of making it difficult for people to vote, including the 2011 law, which created long lines. That law has since been reversed. Students say other laws still make it difficult for Floridians to vote. I think those long voter lines where people didn't get to vote were a direct result of slashing early voting hours. Students say they are planning for more rallies this fall after school is back in session. In Tallahassee, I'm Mount Horn reporting.